So what you're looking at is a Hyundai Tucson fuel cell vehicle, or more specifically, you're looking at a fuel cell electric vehicle. We are the California Fuel Cell Partnership. We're a public-private partnership of government agencies, automakers, fuel cell producers, uh, hydrogen producers, as well as an assortment of non-governmental organizations, leading universities, and others. And we work together to try and address those common issues that are really important to making sure that these cars come to the California road. So this is basically how a fuel cell vehicle works. I'm going to go to my gas station. I'm going to find my hydrogen pump. I'm going to lock in because we're dealing with highly pressurized gaseous hydrogen. I'm going to fill up in three to seven minutes and that hydrogen along with oxygen from the air is going to be injected into the fuel cells. Once you've injected the fuel cells with hydrogen and oxygen, it creates a very powerful electrochemical reaction that powers the electric motor. And what comes out the back end is water vapor, plain and simple. Because of these, the efficiencies of these fuel cells, you're able to get really good range out of the cars. So for example, this car gets 300 miles on a fill up. So these cars can go in any environment that you want them to. Because of that electric motor, it gets very powerful. For the foreseeable future, all of these hydrogen stations will really be hydrogen pumps located at existing gasoline stations. So at least for California, we know the market launches in 2015. Cars will be sold throughout the state. Uh, but this is also an international launch. So you're looking at not just at California, you're looking at South Korea, you're looking at Japan, and you're looking at Germany. In addition to the United Kingdom, as well as many of the Nordic countries. So between 2015 and most likely around 2020, you're gonna see a lot of the major automakers come forward with at least one type of fuel cell electric vehicle. Last year, the governor signed legislation that will help us grow the network very quickly within the next five to eight years. Hydrogen in this country is produced from a variety of sources and by a variety of uh, fuel producers. So there's a lot of ways to make it, there's a lot of ways to deliver it. So for here in California, the market officially launches in 2015. That's when both Toyota and Honda have said repeatedly that they will begin selling vehicles. Now, Hyundai will begin leasing vehicles here in Southern California in June of 2014. So right now we don't have a specific price for hydrogen by the kilogram, but if you talk to most of the people involved with production of hydrogen or hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and others, the general agreement is that when the market launches, hydrogen will be cost competitive with gasoline. You know, if you recognize like any new technology, like flat screen TVs, like iPhones, they were a little expensive to begin with, and there were certain people that could afford those, those early adopters. So, so we're really focused on them. In the long term, the cost of these vehicles will be below that of internal co combustion engine vehicles. In terms of safety, I have to tell you, I, I've driven these cars for at least a year and a half now, and I feel very safe in them. We will train firefighters every year about how to address the vehicles. In addition, there are a lot of safety systems on board these vehicles, just like they're going to find with gasoline vehicles. There are hydrogen sensors on board. The tanks are, are very thick, and they are uh, encased in carbon fiber. There's a lot that's been done to ensure that, that consumers have a lot of physical protection when driving these cars. So starting a fuel cell vehicle is starting up any other particular car. I'm going to put my foot on the brake and I'm going to press the power button. And I'm good to go. Consumers can go to redb.net and they can find information that will link them up to our website and a variety of other sites around the world that will tell them about these cars, these manufacturers, about hydrogen and more. Thank